Hello viewers, welcome to another SMC tutorial video. In today's video, I will be showing us how we can send and receive Abitron on our Metamax wallets. But before we get right into this video, let me briefly tell us what Abitron is all about. Abitron is a layer 2 solution for the Ethereum blockchain and it provides a faster, more cost effective and scalable network. So we need to understand that by default, our Metamask crypto wallet connects to the Ethereum mainnet. And in order for us to be able to send and receive Abitron on our Metamask wallet, we need to be able to add some blockchain information to Metamask. And these blockchain information includes the chain ID, the custom RPC URL, the network name. But do not worry, I'll be showing us as well in this video how we can impute this blockchain information on our Metamask wallet in order for us to send and receive a patron. So let's get right into this video. And to do this, we tap on our Metamask app and you can see at the top that we have Ethereum main network. So we need to be able to have the Abitron one network. And to do this, we tap on browser. And then in the URL, we impute CoinGecko. Okay, I'll be showing us how we can use CoinGecko in order to get uh, Metamax to accept the Abitron one network. So we scroll all the way to the Abitron coin. That is the fourth year coin as at the time I was making this video. And then we scroll to where we have the contract address. You tap on those three dotted lines and then we tap on chain list. Okay, so alternatively, once you tap on browser, you could just impute chainlist.org. I just wanted us to understand that we can also get the link to the site from CoinGecko. And then we connect our wallet. You can see my wallet is already connected. If yours is not connected, kindly connect your wallet. And then you scroll all the way to where we have Abitron 1. And then you tap on add to Metamax. Once you tap on add to Metamax, this page comes up and then you approve. Okay, once you approve, then it says Abitron 1 is now available in the network selector switch network. I would love to switch the network. So I would love to send and receive Abitron in my Metamax wallet. So once you're done, you just tap on wallet and then you can see that we are now on the Abitron 1 network. Okay, so we can see that the ARB token is visible. But if your ARB token is not visible, do not panic. All you need to do is to import tokens and to do this you just tap on import tokens and then you impute the token address and to do this let's go back to a browser and then we go to coin gecko okay i'll go back to the arbitron coin and then you copy this contract address on the arbitron network that is the 0x912.9e6548 and then you go back to your wallet and then um, tap on the import token you paste the contract address and then the other information should generate crb arb and the token decimal and then you import and then your token should be visible just like mine is now let's show you how we can send and receive the arb tokens on our metamask so to do this you tap on arb once you tap on arb you tap on send Okay, this is to send and then in order to send you need to get the receiving address let's say you want your trust wallet to receive the ARB tokens right and then you tap on ARB and then you tap on receive then you copy the address the arbitrary address and then you go back to your meta max and then you paste okay then once you paste, you'll be able to send. But as you can see, I do not have sufficient ARB tokens in my wallet. So in order to receive, you tap on receive and then you copy the address to receive. And then you go to your trust wallet. Okay. And then you send, you tap on send and trust wallet. You paste your token address from the metamax impute the amount of arb you want your metamax to receive and then once you impute this tap on continue on your trust wallet but i won't be able to send because i do not have enough arbitron i do not even have an Abit any arbitron on my trust wallet so it's pretty easy guys 
in order to send and receive ARB is still the same process as you would do any other token. The only difference is you need to first ensure that you are on the Arbitron 1 network on your Metamax wallet before you can send and receive ARB tokens on your Metamax wallet. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, kindly make a comment in the comment section and we rest assured that someone will be available to help you. Thank you guys for listening. See you in our next video.